the memory card is in. So hopefully autosave works. It's probably just my PS2 being old, because my PS2 is really crappy and really old. Still have no idea why Jack 2 doesn't freaking record audio, though. Makes no sense. Because I, I was thinking that, uh, I was looking on the box, and, uh, the game advertised that it was, a uh, Dolby Digital 2, I think, Dolby Digital 2, and I, and I thought, well, maybe that's it. So, but I looked on the box for Ratchet, and it also says Dolby Digital 2. So, it's not that. It, it's just Jack 2 doesn't want to be recorded, or at least recorded in both ears. Which, I will not... Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? No, ah, damn. I could have modeled that to look like a penis and balls. I'm so much sure. This game doesn't have, like, the best music in the world, but it's catchy. It does have some f fantastic tracks, though. Uh, way later in the game. <laughs> that seems to be a running theme now. Uh, everything good about this game is later in the game. Aside from the insane difficulty. It... Oh, yeah, I was talking about the bosses before, before the memory card thing happened. Um... That, that, the glass case I just broke open with the health. Oh, there's one over there. I'll show you. Uh, wait, no. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. There you go. Oh, okay, I'll do it after the cutscene. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. So, mm, what are you? Hookups. Mercenaries? Great. Torturers? Assassins? I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> Just rip him off. This game has a good sense of humor. Uh, looks like you're fucked. Has this ever happened to you? Foreshadowing. Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. <laughs> right, Al? You said it, pal. <laughs> so if you're fighting crime or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. That's your comedic relief character. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means <laughs> Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Oh, this game is so <laughs> radical. You can use your ship. <laughs> Press the select button to bring up the map. Yeah, and this game has multiple paths you can take. Uh, you don't have to go to each... Uh, I just realized I broke open the health case without showing you. Well, you saw right there. I broke open the case, instantly healed. Um, they only heal one, though. Oh, God, this game's hard. It, it'll, like, it, it looks really easy and cheery and happy now. It gets really hard. Um, this game has, uh, multiple paths you can take for, uh, ships, so you don't have to go in a set planet order, you can go, uh, a lot of times any order, as long as you have the info bots, and I skipped the going into the ship cutscene, I'm sorry. Okay, so we can go to, uh, here, or here, which place is better, this place is way better, because we get a, uh, mobility upgrade. Oh, whoops. You can even play the cutscene for that planet, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, it even tells you your gold bolt count. So, one of three. It even has a checklist for you. Sometimes you might uh, finish a planet, and then you'll have no idea where to go. Well, just look for the checklist. I also have no idea when I'm going to stop recording this session probably around the two hour mark, but I don't know when in that game two hours is. When in this game, I mean. 
Here's your disguised loading screens. But they look pretty cool, so I can forgive them. Just start right off, no cutscene. This place is uh, really awesome. This is uh, a mainstay in the Ratchet series. You come here multiple times. Uh, oh, and I keep saying this game is balls hard. Ratchet series in general is difficult than... I'd say hard. It's like, it's above normal, it's hard. Uh, this game is just one of the more difficult ones in the series. Uh, yes, we will, oh wait, uh, let's see what new weapon there is. Blaster, yes! Hi there, Fuzzball. We want Blaster. And, oh god, we have to do this. Buy ammo button is so much better. Buy all ammo button. From Ratchet 3, which is the best in the series. Uh, unless, unless the, uh, end game of Kraken Time is really good, because I've only played, like, 75% of it. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. <laughs> if you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised oh, egos, geez. or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse uh, me, Captain, oh. but we have more pressing issues. Was, uh, we urgently to need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. <laughs> it's a robot. Yeah. Oh. There's a uh, Ratchet being a bit of a dick, but, like, that that's fine. It gets worse, trust me. For no good reason, either. Let's just explore around the island, and I'm not collecting these bolts, and, well... Oh, God. Don't worry, we, uh, get to move faster after we beat this corpse, actually. That's what we get. Um, let me just... Oh, there's also an achievement for, uh, blowing him up. Uh, oh, whoops. That's right, fitness fans. Just make it to the third uh, island to claim can I your skip reward. This? And don't forget to tune in this week oh, as God, I, I can. Captain Quark appear in person to present the grand prize for the hoverboard championship held in Blackwater City. Oh, we'll be going there later. Oh, here we go. No, we can't blow him up with these weapons. Uh, or maybe you can, it just takes a long time, but yeah, you get a skill point, and like I said, they're useless in this game. In fact, have I unlocked skill points yet? No, it's weird, and I'm gonna save, uh, because I'm worried that the autosave uh, hasn't uh, corrected itself. Oh, whoops. There we go. Oh, here's a new crate. It's a nitro crate. Take a guess what it does. They, uh, if you, uh, hit them at all, they instantly blow up, so. Uh, you can use them to your advantage to just blow up all the crates around them, or sometimes blow up enemies. And this is one of the slidey things. It's, it's there to look cool. <laughs> uh, this is where, uh, this level is all about platforming, as opposed to, uh, shooting. It's all about platforming. And, oh, up here... Your, sec your second, uh, your double jump is sort of a double jump. I don't know. It's It doesn't get you much higher compared to like something like Jack. But you should always still roll just in case. I remember. Uh, no. That's... Let's wait. Oh, so many memories. <laughs> I remember getting stuck later in the game, uh, due to one of the really, really balls hard levels. It's the one with the giant enemy crabs and poisonous gas. Anyone who knows this game knows what world I'm talking about. God, that world is terrible. It's just a 
annoying, it's hard, it doesn't have any good music or cutscenes or anything. Listen up, you ah, balls. damn it, I just realized this isn't where we get more money for ability. It is on this planet, though. What do you mean? We do get a cool man. little gadget here, though. Oh, yeah, but it is weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If oh, up to you're me, so nice. You would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! <laughs> Captain Fuck! <laughs> and worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance! Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. You bitch. I <laughs> Just doing that. Uh. I don't know how, to, how a robot can gain weight, so Ratchet's little quip right there didn't make much sense. But whatever, a thousand bolt. Oh, and these are your taxis. They, uh, assuming you can't pay, which, come on, it's a thousand bolts. The, uh, taxi will bring you back to the start of the level and you can do the other path. But, we have enough, so let's buy it. Sweet! I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Real men can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. 